is to what? Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Sarah. Hello, Ella. Hello, you guys. What's up? Let's dance. Let's dance. We got this. Again, 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 again. Again. Glorious, glorious. Uh, 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 uh. Putting on my bold lip gloss, but I need to order some more, you guys. Glorious, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Him, you. Me, we got this. Oh yeah, you guys. Hello, hello. Hello everybody, how's everyone doing today, you guys? I hope you're doing awesome. I hope that you are feeling awesome. I hope that life is treating you awesome. If you're new here, my name is Tia B. Stokes. I'm a mother of five. Major legend mate is Taz and Rose. I am married to the handsome Andrew Stokes and I'm 35 years old and 306 days ago, I was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. And this is the way I have been journaling and documenting my experience. So if you're new, be sure to subscribe to our channel because we are here every night partying, hi Calais, dancing. We are, yes, you can ask me questions right after this. This is a question night, guys. We're doing a question night and I'm gonna give you a little update on my doctors today. So ask me all the questions, not yet though. Um, I am documenting and I've been here every night. I think I've missed probably like, I don't even know, maybe not even 10 nights now. But if you've been here, let us know where you're watching from. Let us know where, what day you started watching. I love to hear that. I think that's always cool to watch, see all your guys' um, comments and to see how long you've been around since we've been here. You guys, we've almost been documenting a whole year. Can you believe that? In April, it will be a whole year. Isn't that crazy? I've been going live every night. That's just crazy, right? Crazy. Anyways, bold is the lip gloss, you guys, from Shine Cosmetics. I will upload it in my Instagram stories because I always get asked about it. It's my, it's the color that I, oh, I've been, I've been using this bold Shine Cosmetics my whole treatment, like the whole last 10 months, you guys. Isn't that crazy? So I need a new one. This one is, is going out on me. It's actually fading out because I put it on every day. Um, so today was a doctor's day. Um, and if you're new, I love you. Thanks for being here, you guys. I love you guys. Grateful for all of you. Um, are we almost to our goal of 100,000? I don't know if we're almost there yet. You guys tell me. I haven't checked, but um, I've been doing some fun uh, happy mail over on my TikTok, inviting my TikTok family and Instagram family. But we are almost to our... I don't, I don't know if we're almost there yet, but um, um, we're excited and I think it'd be cool, right? Yes, it'd be so cool, especially by our, our um, what's a day? What day is that? Um, our, what was, diagnosis day. That's what we were trying to hit 100, 100 for. So let's go, Shreya says. All right, all right, all right. You guys, I wanted to say thank you for last night. Thank you for letting this be a safe place for me to document my true raw feelings. Um, I, you know, and I, I want you guys all to know firsthand. And I, I said this yesterday in my story, but we love Kelsey. Um, we are so grateful for her. Honestly, she was an answer to our prayers and she was an answer to our life and to my life, especially my life is crazy, especially when I, I don't have cancer. I'm doing so many different things. I'm traveling. I'm 
I'm teaching, I'm choreographing, I'm doing so many things, and I'm a mom of five, and so um, I'm just so grateful for her, and I'm grateful for Kelsey and all that she does for our family and sacrifices for us. And she has been such a huge instrument in getting me healthy as well. Like she's the one, that, like on days when I don't feel like TikToking, she's the one that motivates me to TikTok. Like she's the one that's like, come on, you need to TikTok. You need to do a dance. You need to do a dance. You need to get up and dance, you know? Um, she, so she not only is like my, our, um, one of my really good friends, one of my best friends now, but she also is like a, an awesome assistant, an awesome hype girl, an awesome, just good, loves my kids. And I'm so grateful that she loves my kids. I'm like me and Rose's relationship has nothing to do with Kelsey. Like, I just want you guys to know that like Rose has been, and in my Instagram post, if you guys saw my Instagram post today, um, it's just, it's just bound to happen. You know what I mean? Like Rose was eight months old when I got diagnosed. And then most of last year I was in the hospital. You guys saw it firsthand. I was in the hospital most of last year. And so to leave a little baby that young and to come back, you know, to come back the end of the year and she barely, she barely even knows me and that's, that's okay. That's just where we're at right now, you know? And, um, so I just want you guys to know that I, we're so grateful for Kelsey. We love her. My, my video last night had nothing to do against Kelsey or anything. Those are just natural feelings that are going to happen when you're going through something like cancer and you have little kids and you have a baby, a little small baby that, um, that, I mean, like I, like it's nobody's fault, you know, what I, you know what I, you know what I mean? It's nobody's fault that those feelings and those things happen. It's just the way it is because of the cancer journey, because of the journey. So I just want you guys to know that I'm grateful for Kelsey, grateful for all that she does, grateful for all that she has been a blessing into our life. And I hope that I can keep her around for as long as I can, um, I told her today, I mean, I told her today she can stay around as long as she wants to, as long as she will, will keep her for as long as she wants to. So, um, I'm yeah, so grateful for her. But today I had a doctor's appointment and am I related to Kelsey? Um, not, not, we're not blood related, but we are sisters through Christ. Yes. Um, but um, today I had a doctor's appointment and everything was good today. Everything was a good doctor's appointment. Um, my red blood cells were on the parameter, were 26.8. So um, it was a little low. It was still low. So I'll probably need a blood transfusion tomorrow. So I'm going to go in tomorrow and get that blood transfusion because Friday, I have a pretty busy day on Friday. Um... So, but my white blood cells were like 5.2, I think. And my, 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 no, my ANC was like 3.2 and my platelets were two, 212. So those are all good things. So smash the like button for all the good things, you guys, all those good things, all, all the good things, all the good things. Can you guys believe that though? So they said that my red blood counts still are low, obviously, because of our, um, of my brother's uh, red blood, my brother's blood type and my blood type are still different. So, and my antibodies, I have antibodies that are destroying my cells still. So that is going to take a little bit, a while for me to, and I'll still need blood transfusions as we go this these next couple of months but exciting news you guys smash that like button smash that like button right now let me know that you're here and you are awesome <laughs> um we are to next week is my scheduled next week you guys next week is my scheduled bone marrow biopsy so um yeah Exciting news that next week I'll have my bone marrow biopsy to see if I am clear of cancer, to see if all my cells are clear. I will not, I will not, I will not have my, um, I will not have my results back next week. Just remember that because my 100 days is in like two more weeks and two more visits. So 
my 100 days is coming up. You guys, today is day 84. Can you believe that? Today is day 84. So my day 100 is like in a couple weeks. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that crazy? Crazy. We have come this far. Isn't that unbelievable? It's so amazing. The Lord is good, you guys. Miracles are happening. The Lord is good. So I have a bone marrow biopsy scheduled for next week. So a week from today. And then I'll have my results the following week. So I'll have my results the following week. Um, and my doctor called tonight to make sure Andy was going to come with me. So hopefully that means all good things, right? All good things, all good things. Okay, so with that, I gave you a little doctor update, gave you a little update. Oh, and today I got my depo shot. I got a shot today. That shot, like, is, uh, it's like a birth control shot that they give in my arm. I was due for it today, so I got a shot today in my arm. Um, anyways, ask my question. Ask me questions. You guys got some time right now to ask me questions. Am I nervous for the biopsy, Kylene Zoll? Um, no, I'm not nervous. Well, yes, I'm nervous. You know, I was talking to, um, <laughs> I was talking to Kelsey today about like, you know, the word relapse. Like, I just, I almost just like. I know this sounds bad, but I almost just feel like I, like, and maybe it won't ever, it, maybe it won't ever happen, but I just, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so crazy to me how, like, people get cancer and then they relapse, you know? Like, I just, I, I'm almost, I, I am nervous, I'm not going to lie, I am nervous to hear that word relapse. Um, I am nervous, I'll be honest. Um, I'm, <sighs> sorry, I cry all the time. Why do I always cry on this dang thing? Why? Oh my gosh. No one wants to watch a cry baby to you. Um. Anyways, I don't, it's just the realness of it, you know? If it is, if it does, then um, I just pray for the strength that I'll be able to be strong and be able to um, fight hard and fight with a positive attitude and be happy through it. And that's all that I can hope for. So, yes, hopefully that answers your question. Um, let's talk about the... Someone said they wanted to know about the blend jet issue that I had today on my stories. If you have not seen my stories on Instagram, <sighs> Tia, Tia, Tia. That is just a Tia moment. That is just a Tia thing. I love my blend jet and I was trying to show how awesome I love it. You know, I'm trying to do a better job at showing things that I love and because people always end up asking me questions and here I am trying to show my blend jet and how it works and how well it works. And then I was tasting my smoothie out of it and it was so good. I was giving out some to Taz and then I was looking at it and I was like trying to twist it and I asked and I pressed the button and it flew all over the place. So if you've not watched it, you should go watch it because it will brighten your day and make you laugh a little bit and make you feel a little better than, were you influenced, Sarah? I was influenced, oh my gosh. Blend jet, mm -mm -mm -mm. blend jet. Anyways, that was my story from today. Um, someone asked, do I support the Jewish community or Jewish? I love everybody. I, I get asked this all the time about all sorts of things and, and types of people or whatever you want to call it. I do as Christ did and I love everyone. So that's, that's my question. My, that's my answer for you. Um, I just try to follow my savior, Jesus Christ. And I try to love and love and love. Um, what am I grateful for? I am grateful for my husband. I am grateful for my kids. I'm grateful for all of you and all the love and support. I'm grateful for miracles and I'm grateful to be able to be healthy enough to be here right now. Seriously. Thank you. The grateful journals. Where are the grateful journals? We are working on them. I have finally, um, Andy has been really, um, 
busy, so we are going to work on getting them printed, you guys. Don't you worry, okay? We are working on it. We are working on it. Um, how do you stay so happy? How do I stay so happy is because I choose to stay happy. Trust me, I'm not always happy. I'm not always a happy person. I don't always feel so happy. I, um, um, I am very much, uh, just like everybody else. I'm just like everybody else that has bad days and bad moments and, but it's a choice. Happiness is a choice. Um, and when you get to choose your life and you get to choose the things in it, which you get to choose your job, you get to choose to be a part of a dance team. I get to choose to have five kids. I get to choose to be pregnant. Did I just say that out loud? I'm just kidding. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> There's your joke for tonight. Woo <laughs> Did I get you guys? Did I get you? Did I get you? <laughs> hello, hello. Um, but <laughs> anyways. Oh, ooh, ooh. I made you laugh. I made you. Uh-uh. Cambria's calling me a stinky butt. Yes, I am a stinky butt. Did I make you surprised? <laughs> um, anyways, but when we choose our life, we get to choose also to be happy. And I I know that without, you know, I know that with all my being that happiness is a choice. So I'm not always happy. I'm not always perfectly positive, but I know in my heart that even when bad things happen, I can choose to be happy. <laughs> I can choose to put out good things in the world. I can choose to try to be an uplifting, positive person. I can choose to tell a joke, okay? So um, that's what I have to say about how do I stay still happy? It's, it's a choice that we have to make and we get to choose that. Um, my shirt says, you don't need to be everything to everyone. Don't you love that? So cool, right? I didn't get you, Mace Maya. Okay, didn't get me either, Jada said. Um, do I have to get more shots of the biopsy? Love you, Tia, you're a queen. Um, nope, I don't need any more shots. I've just, um, I've just, um, I'm getting my bone marrow biopsy in next week. So next week is my bone marrow biopsy. So prayers that um, whatever happens, that I'll be strong enough to be able to, um, you know, face it and be strong. So um, that's what I'm asking for prayers for, okay? I love you guys. I know but everyone wants to pray specifically and I think that's important. Whatever God's will be, that um, it will be. Um, have I ever met Charlie in person? No, I have not. No, I have not. Will your hair grow out or keep it short? Beautiful every way. You guys, I don't know. I'm really digging the short faux hawk. I'm going to keep growing my faux hawk out. That's for sure. I'm going to keep growing my faux hawk out, but I don't know. I'll probably keep it faux hockey for a while now that I love it so much. How did your kids react when they found out you had cancer? I wasn't here when my husband told them that I had cancer, but um, I think they were just mostly just like kind of shocked and not really what sure to th not sure what to think because they're so little still. You know, they're still my boy and boys are boys. They're just like, okay, and and what? You know what I mean? Like they they don't really uh, feel any emotions right off the bat. So um, I think that they're. Uh, they're just like, they're just awesome. My kids are awesome. Um, last question. What happens next if your biopsy comes back clear? What happens next is that I will continue doing doctor visits, but not as often. And I will continue doing uh, blood work every week. 
um, until I start to come down, come down. Um, and I'll continue getting blood work, like check, they'll continue checking up my blood, but not as like, I, I mean, they'll continue checking my blood every week, but I won't have as many, I won't have doctor visits every week, you know? Um, and I'll hopefully get to ring that bell. Woohoo! 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 Okay, last question, last question. Do I keep saying that? Um, what is your favorite TikTok dance? I don't know, because I love them all. I love all the dances. Let's see. Okay, last question. Advice on how I can support my brother who was recently diagnosed with cancer. I would say, um, text them, be there for them, text them and text them often. Let them know that you're always, that's something that Cambria was always really good at is texting me every day and letting me know that she's thinking of me or how am I doing or how is my, I think sometimes cancer is always really scary at first. So tons of people reach out at the beginning, but then the, it starts to dwindle out. You know what I mean? Like people stop reaching out. They stop, um, they stop texting, they stop messaging. So I think the consistency, like keep being there for your brother, even if it's just a simple text message. Um, if you can't go by him or because of his immune system, then reach out and leave things on the doorstep for him or leave, leave things at his doorstep that will brighten his day, whether it be a good book or, st or games, card games or a treat. Even a treat is always good or a good drink. I know sometimes with cancer, sometimes it's not food, you know, it's more drinks that we like. Um, so, um, leave him a good drink or something, or even, or even sometimes because they're going back and forth to doctor visits, Venmo them a drink money, Venmo, Venmo them money for drinks or money for a treat or Venmo for lunch or something like that. But I think just don't forget about them. I think that's the biggest thing. And don't feel like you have to heal them or fix them. Um, people with cancer, like just keep reaching out, keep being there for them day after day, you know? Um, anyways, I hope that helps you. I hope that gives you a little bit of my back of some questions. Oh, last question. Okay. This is the last one for reals. How is the GVHD? The GVHD is going good. I still am doing the steroids, which the steroids, oh, guys, the steroids make you eat and make you hungry all the time. So, um, I'm still doing, I'm still taking the steroids for my GI, for my chat, for my stomach, and I'm still taking the uh, steroids for my mouth. So, um, but as far as the GVHD, I'm still just like treating it with the steroids that I'm taking and it's not getting worse. So that is good. That is good. So anyways, I hope that helps you out and lets you guys know how much I love you. I'm grateful for all of you. Thank you for being here and thanks for being a part of my family. I hope you know how much I am just so, so, so grateful for all of you. Um, and with that, I will leave you guys with a word of prayer. All right. All right. Yes. The depot shot. Oh. Our dear kind, gracious heavenly father. We're so grateful for this beautiful night that we have to be together. We're grateful for this beautiful family and we're grateful for all that we have. We're grateful for the many prayers and love and we're grateful for all the, um, faith and all the beautiful, um, people that have come into our lives because of this journey. Please help us that we can keep fighting and we can keep being strong and we can keep doing the things that we need to do. And we are say thank you to thee. We're so grateful for all our many blessings and thank you for um, all the prayers and please bless all these people that their needs will be met and that thou will be able to comfort them if they need it. And we're so grateful for our country and please help us that we can unite and come together as one. And we love these so very much. And we say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen, you guys. Aloha means hello, goodbye, and I love you. Good night.